Hey guys, it's your girl. Uh, I'm trying opening phrases. I'm trying new ones. I don't know how that one worked, but we're trying it out. I wanted to talk about loving yourself because it's something that I struggle with a lot. There's a lot of things that I have learned along the way that helps me when I start to get into a really bad place. I have kind of taught myself a few tricks, I guess, on how to be less mean to myself sometimes because I struggle with anxiety and depression and PTSD from stuff that happened in the past. All of it mixed together, I end up feeling really bad about myself because I feel bad that I have anxiety and I feel bad that I have depression and I feel like I shouldn't be like this, that I should be better than this. Um, and it's not my fault. It's, you know, it is a chemical imbalance in the brain and all that stuff and it, um, and it was also sort of the reaction of some stuff that I went through in the past and it's not something that I could have just controlled. Um, when I was 17, that's when I was actually diagnosed with uh, depression and anxiety. I went into the doctor to get some sleep medicine because I couldn't sleep at night and I didn't really know why. And the doctor was like, you know, you probably have depression. And at the time I was like, wow, that's crazy. That's not true. And my mom just kind of looked at me and she's like, okay, so what do we need to do next? Along the line, I got a therapist and some more doctors. And among all of this, I struggle to like myself every day. Um, and one way that I try to handle this is that Sometimes I get very focused on like, there's all these things wrong with me. Like, how could it be wrong with me? Like, that's so bad. And like, I'm so ugly, I'm so fat. Or like, I'm so bad at doing art. I'm so bad at writing. I'm so bad at doing videos. And I just like, it's this constant cycle of like constant negativity. And one thing that I do to try and get myself out of that cycle is I start focusing on my goals. I'll tell myself, maybe right now I'm not very good and I'm not the best, but where will I be in five years if I try my best now, if I work really hard? So that's something that I do first when I start getting really negative in that way, is that if I work my ass off and if I try my hardest every single day, then there's nothing for me to really complain about because I'm trying my best. There's nothing out, like, else I can do. Everything else is outside of my control. So one thing that I try to do when it comes to my self-image issues, like appearance-wise, is that I try and think that there's no one in the world who looks exactly like me. And so that in and of itself makes me beautiful because I'm unique. A lot of people say like, oh, everyone's beautiful and da 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 da. With someone who has self-image issues, you write that off, you don't hear that, you don't really believe it. And like that happens to me sometimes. So what I like to do in those situations is that I look at for the things that I like or like, things that people have complimented me on before and I look in the mirror and I look at that and I tell myself I'm a sexy beast. And even if someone else doesn't find me beautiful, I find me beautiful and that's all that matters. Um, and sometimes I just like to pump myself up. I listen to like 80s and 90s music, like girl pop songs and I put on some makeup and I do my hair and I get myself all cute and then I take pictures of myself and Sometimes that helps too. Uh, it definitely eases some of the, I don't know what this is. <laughs> because everyone is unique and everyone is different. That's what makes them beautiful. Like I am very self-conscious of my nose and my cheeks. Right now that's something that I'm really working hard on accepting in myself because I don't like my profile at all. I'm really self-conscious about my small talk, which it's really weird, but I get really nervous that I'm like really boring or I'm saying the wrong things. And I am struggling a little bit with thinking that I have gained weight. So instead of using all my mental energy to think about, oh, like I'm so fat, I'm so chubby. Instead of doing that, I'm using that energy in a positive way. I'm trying to get myself exercising. I'm trying to eat healthier. And instead of being like, oh, like you're so fat, why are you so fat? I'm like, why aren't you eating good? Eat better. And I try and take those bad thoughts and turn them into good ones. And it's really hard and it takes a lot of uh, self-discipline, but it's something that I've learned to do over time because you can do a lot of different things in your life. You can take medicine, you can see a therapist, you can talk to people you care about. And 
ask them for advice or just ask them to be there for you or you could you know last resort you can spiral into a bad place or you can use your own mental willpower and you can try and make yourself stronger that way um that's something that i try to do something i struggle with all the time but i am always striving to be better than i am right now so this is peter mckinnon he's an amazing youtuber um i really aspire to be like him because he has so much talent and he's such a great person um but besides that point he said something one time and he said his idol is himself in five years so in five years when he is when he's reached that point when he's reached those goals he still has his idol of the next five years the next five years because you're always constantly improving and like so every five years you're gonna see like look back and see how much you've improved how much you've grown as a person um and so that's i've actually took that to heart <laughs> because I do look to other people for encouragement and inspiration. But when it comes to my own self-confidence, I have to look at myself. And I look at where I was five years ago and where I hope to be in five years. And I met this really interesting person and um, they read a lot and they encouraged me to start reading Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. And which is a really good book because it talks about improving yourself not just your outward personality but like your core being i'm not being very concise <sighs> what i do to try and love myself more is just i look at the things that i can't do and i look at how i can try and improve those things and how i can work on them and a lot of it is just self-discipline because if you let yourself just be negative if you bleh, if you let yourself just spiral into that hole, you're never gonna get back out. Cause I've been down that road and I've done it so many different times. And I've tried therapy, which I really like, and I've tried medicine, which I also really like. But when you don't have access to those things, you need to be your own therapist and be your own medicine. Because sometimes your own willpower can be more strong. I know. Like, it's a chemical imbalance. I'm always going to be sick. I'm always going to have panic attacks. Like, these things aren't going to go away. But I can learn how to manage them in a healthy and encouraging way, I suppose. <laughs> because when it comes to mental illness, you do, you know, I believe medicine is very good for you. And I believe therapy is also very good for you. But sometimes those things aren't readily available or you can't afford them financially. Um, and so in those cases, you just have to use your own mental willpower. And I'm not saying like, just be happy. Like, no, that's not how it works. Like I still have panic attacks. I still have anxiety. I'm just trying to take those things and turn them in a positive way. And it's hard, it's so hard. It's some days it's like impossible, but I still try and find a way to appreciate myself that I'm still here. Like maybe, maybe I'm still in bed today. I haven't showered, I haven't brushed my teeth. I've only eaten mac and cheese but I'm still here and I'm still breathing and try and use those little things and, and loving myself again. And it's a struggle, but I think when you are more confident, you feel more confident and you act more confident, then people will see you in that way. So this was a lot of talking. I don't really like doing sit down long talking videos anymore. So, um, also, speaking of, I have decided that with YouTube, I'm still learning how to get better and to do things. And so I don't want to put myself on a super strict schedule because this is something I enjoy doing and I don't want to take the joy out of that. When I do post videos, I'm probably still going to post them at the same time, which is Friday mornings here. And I think it's Thursday night Pacific Standard Time. Like everyone's always like, if you want a successful YouTube channel, be regular, da 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 da. But Having a successful YouTube channel isn't my goal, I guess. My goal is to just have fun and to expand my skills in making videos. I have stockpiled a lot of videos that I'm going to come out with. I'm probably, I'm, oh, what my, okay, no. And use that kind of as a buffer until I get to the point where I can't put them out every single week. I'm sorry that I'm not gonna keep a steady schedule, but 
I just, I just want to have fun doing this. I hope you guys understand. And thank you for listening to this long rant. I hope it helps someone out there. Um, that's all for right now, guys. And I will see you later. I hope you have a great day. Bye.